What are country style wines? It's occurred to me that in the 170 videos that I've done to date, I have yet to describe just what type of wine it is I actually make. Whether I'm making an apple or a peach or a pear or a pineapple or God knows what, those fall under a category called country style wines. Let's talk about that for a few minutes. Now to answer the immediate question, country style wines are wines that are not made from grapes. Plain and simple. You can make country style wines from, from fruits, from vegetables, from, from flowers, to herbs. There's a wide range of items that you can make country style wines from. Now, one other aspect of country style wines is that they're really designed to be drunk young. And by drunk young, I mean that they're really designed to be drunk anywhere between three months to two years. They're not like burgundies that are designed to sit around for decades. You want to drink these bad boys up fairly quickly. Now, based on the wines that I've made on this channel, I find that anywhere from 12 months to 16 months is a pretty good sweet spot. But generally, you want to be done with those wines by then. Now, what are some of the fruits that you can make country style wines from? Well, since you're not really limited, apples, oranges, pears, pineapples, peaches, blueberries, blackberries, plums, <laughs> the list goes on and on. With regards to vegetables, well, you're not limited there either. I've made uh, country style wines from beetroot to carrots to corn. I've made, I've made country style wines with flowers using hibiscus using dandelions. Well, I haven't made the dandelion wine yet. Let me stop myself there. That's still on the list. I still need to go rummaging around these back, these back areas picking up dandelions. But no, you can, uh, in addition to that, uh, rose petals. So yeah, you can use flowers or flower petals to make country style wines. In terms of herbs, again, sky's the limit. If you like a particular taste of a particular herb, you can make wine from it. Now, to be a bit more specific, if you like herb <laughs> and you are in a, in a state that, that, that where it's permissible to consume, then yes, you can make wine from that as well. It might be a little pricey, but hey, you can still do it. And those are just a few of the examples that you can make country style wines from. Now, if I had to hazard a guess, I would probably say that most home winemakers are making country style wines by virtue of one simple reason. The ingredients are accessible. Face it, unless you've got a vineyard or access to a vineyard or you can get your fruits directly from a vineyard, i.e. grapes, then it's a lot easier to get your fruits from the grocery store than it is to get it from a vineyard. So with a grocery store having really all of the ingredients you need to make wine, then that's probably why most home winemakers will make country style wines. Now then, what exactly constitutes the ingredients for making wine? You need juice, you need sugar, and you need yeast. Now, yeah, if you can get your sugar from your grapes, that's great. That's perfectly fine. Grapes are, uh, wine grapes are grown by virtue of the fact that they do have a uh, higher level of sugar than, say, your store-bought grapes. But you can also find your, your sugar in, uh, in, in most of the fruits that you buy at the grocery store. And for the most part, most of the home winemaking recipes will simply uh, stipulate that you simply add X amount or X cups of of sugar to, uh, to give your yeast something to uh, consume while it's producing alcohol. So again, whether you're using apple juice, sugar, and yeast, or you're using uh, varietal grape juice, sugar, and yeast, it's still the same process throughout the uh, winemaking uh, experience. All you have to do is combine the ingredients in a, in a, in a sterile, sanitized, uh, sanitized environment and uh, give it time to let the yeast do its thing. And for the most part, if you wait long enough, you will have a tasty beverage. Wine is still going to be wine. Now, I just wanted to point out that not all wines that you see are going to be uh, Chardonnays or Sauvignon Blancs or Merlots or, you know, Shiraz or you know, so on and so forth. The wines that you find in the grocery store. Uh, wines are just basically wines. Uh, you can find a wide mix of wines 
probably sometimes even better, wines that you make your own. Now again, this is a very short video. Uh, again, if you like what you see here, click on the subscribe and notify buttons, uh, become a member, become a Patreon, help support this channel. And I'll look forward to seeing you in the next video.